So this is doing page 187 from the textbook, The Soul Trader Final Accounts. I'm not dealing with the adjustments, this is only making sure that we know where the things should go into a trading profit and loss and how to do the maths at the end. So we start off with purchase and sale. So purchase is listed up here and it's 620. Uh, sales is up in the, in the right hand column, uh, 950. 10% um, investments, so that's financial fixed assets, so that goes in the fixed assets over here, and it's 120 grand. Uh, stocks first to first, so that's opening stocks, that's 64 grand. Uh, rent, so rent we notice is in the credit column, so that means it's an income, not an expense. So I'll put that in here, in other incomes. I'm just going to call it rent received, just to distinguish it from any other type of rent. Uh, showroom expenses, that's an expense and that's distribution. Carriage out, so that's delivering goods, so that's also um, a distribution expense. Uh, patents incorporate three months investment income. So we're going to ignore the investment income, it's just mixed in there. So the patents is an intangible fixed asset. And that's 60,600. Uh, discount net. It's in the debit column, so it's either an income or an expense. Well, because of the debit column, that means it must be an expense. So discount is to do with me selling goods, so that's a distribution expense. The net, just so we understand, is the, means that there was maybe a discount that we received and a discount allowed, and the difference between the two of them is the discount net. Okay, so we could have actually just given us a figure for both. Mortgage interest, what's well, a financial expense? Uh, advertising 16 grand so that's to do with selling goods so distribution expense uh, stationery that's a min expense so stationery is just paper and pens etc provision for bad debts so we're going to have that in current assets we're going to have debtors Less provision for bad debts. So we'll, we'll have that in there as a minus. So you could call that a minus current asset. So provision for bad debts is four one hundred. It's going to put it as a minus. Uh, debtors and creditors seventy four and eighty two. So the debtors is seventy four, and creditors is eighty two. Uh, buildings, so it says cost 850. So, the, putting this up here, so that means the thing originally cost 850. The figure that we have um, in the trial balance in the DR column is 800, so that means it's actually worth 800, which means we must have taken away 50 grand in depreciation over all the years we've had it. So, it's a minus there. Uh, motor vehicles, we've done something similar. So motor vehicles is 120. Um, and then we have, so 65 is the total figure. So 120 uh, minus, oh, no, sorry. So 120 there. So the depreciation figure is going to be 120 minus 65. Ooh, that's not right. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, 5% fixed mortgage. 
including an increase. Well, the mortgage, the number of the trial balance is a relevant figure, so that's 300,000, so put that down here. Um, it's 300,000. Uh, VAT. So VAT is money that I have collected on behalf of the tax man. I expect it. It usually is a liability because I owe that money to the tax man. Sometimes I might be owed a refund for the tax man, so it could be an asset, so it would be on the debit side. But in this case, VAT is a liability, so it's in the credit column. And PRSI is the same, and it's 2500. Bank, it's in the debit column, so that means we have money in the bank. If that money was in the credit column, it would be a liability, so. And that would be a bank overdraft, 16300. And then we have capital 755100, so it's down to finance by. Um, so 755100. And then we've got drawings, uh, which is 30,000. So in the finance by here, I'm going to have capital. I'll add my net profit. Uh, and that will be net profit after tax. Oh, and take away the drawings. Sorry, are you free? Yeah, I'm going to